I need to create a schematic symbol for this LM741 op amp. And now I can probably find a pre-made one in KiCad, but typically they aren't laid out as they actually are on the chip. They're kind of simplified and they'll be something like this symbol. But it can be beneficial to have it laid out exactly how it is on the chip because it, can, uh, it helps you consider routing when you design your circuit. So let's go into the, into the part library editor, which you can get by clicking this button here on the main screen. And I'm going to create a new component. Let's call this LM741. Click OK. And now we can zoom in and we've got some text here. I'm just going to select and move that out of the way. Um, now I need to add my pins. There's going to be eight pins. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them. So I, I'm not adding my uh, not adding the names quite yet because I don't well, I can't see them. So and all I'm doing to add pins is I just keep clicking. Now I need to change my orientation to left orientation, and I'm gonna put in pin. Oops, that's the name. I want to make sure we put that as a number five. Almost there, six, seven, and then eight. Oops, I did it again. Eight. So now all our pins are placed, except for normally, whenever you're dealing with an op amp, you're going to have a lot of components kind of connected in between these pins. So I like to have them extra spaced out. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to select these and I'm going to double the spacing between all of them. So I can also just uh, scroll over and press the M key to move individual ones. There we go. Now I can place a rectangle around this. Oops, I always make that mistake. So I need to click to make the first point and then let go and drag it down like that. All right, now I'd like to have a symbol similar to this op amp symbol drawn on here so it's easy to visualize when you're designing the circuit. So I'm going to have to use this polyline tool here and I kind of want to see where the pins are at. I'm pretty sure it's between two and three. Inverting and non-inverting, these are the inputs. So I want my triangle to be pretty much right here and it's going to link to the output. So let's go back and we're going to draw it kind of like that. Oops, don't click escape because that will delete it. You want to click enter when you're done. You want to double click when you're done, sorry. Now, uh, let's draw some lines connecting these. So that goes there. Double click to finish your line placement. And then we want to go down to pin 6 for the output. Let's just double check that. Pin 6 is the output. Now we need to place some text here for a minus and plus. So let's just put a minus here. And we'll put a plus here. Now we can go ahead and add the rest of the text here for pins 1, 4, 8, and 5. So 1 is offset null, so 
both of these are offset, so we'll just we'll just put OFF on them. And these are used to uh, take care of any offset that'll be in the op amp. And then V minus, V plus, and NC. So let's, this is not connected, NC. V plus, V minus. So now our symbol's done, and all we really need to do now is add in our information, which I've covered in a previous video.